Today we're going to be doing a bit of fencing using two bluffers and a 13 ton digger. It's meant to get a wire puller. There was a mis miscommunication. The guy brought brought another thing for me to collect. Uh, yeah, we're going to make one. Stay tuned. Show the YouTubers. Have this. It looks all dirty because I've had it a month, but it hasn't even been lit up yet. There's two bars. Two bars for four screws, no bother. Flat out. Sorry, quick, quick job, is it? There we go. Belford! What's your plan now? Right, it's the stuck fencing. Right, you get the digger, we'll pull them post out. I can get into the face now then. No, no, up here first. Right. Just keep watching. And you'll figure out what we're doing. Maybe I'll know what I'm doing by the end of it too. <laughs> the blind leading the blind, eh? <laughs> so before today in preparation, I went up one evening and got these ready to come out. Like one staple in there. Just keep them together. Over the gravel. I know the hitch is a bit leaky. There we go. I'm going to go up this and uh, pull the rest of these nails out. We see the glimpse of this yard from here. It looks pretty awesome. It does to me anyway. Yeah, and for everybody out there that's worried about the oil, it's uh, it only leaks whenever the hitch is open. It's getting worse. It wasn't that bad yesterday. the reason for doing this before we these sheep come back so they don't escape and eat my apple eat the foliage off my apples you know why I left some of them them posts there too as markers for spacing now I've removed the spacing <laughs> I'm gonna keep that post independent and put another strainer post here that'll hold the hold the uh, fence that's gonna be your closer for the gate anyway uh, it's gonna be attached but we're gonna put the thing in the idea of putting a strainer Bring the strainer post in the back side, bring it round to tension the wire and then straight line it. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? Straight line, look, don't look at the top, look at the bottom. Hope it's not gonna push the wall. Right, the idea of that strainer post is no other reason other than, well one, we have plenty, and two, it's the, the breach, the gap here, so the sheepies can't escape. Water is still leaching out of this 
this pond, yeah, water's leaking. It's only doing it slightly. The it hasn't proper sealed, I think. And even if it hasn't, whatever, it's still holding water. But the water's coming out with the wood chip. I originally, because this was such a wet hole of a place, I cut a wee track for the water, and it has been trickling down through the middle of the of the of the field. So I'm asking him to just peel back a foot wide, six inches deep, and that'll take that'll direct the water that's running out of the pond into the the field shock field drain right let me explain why we've done this now there's the water starting to weep out now look look at him no patience no patience there's no wonder i'm under pressure all the time trying to keep up <laughs> right guys let me explain what we're going to do now whenever i first put up the fence and adam was here this is the first bit from the sheep shade working this way i was trying to follow the contours wasn't a hundred percent sure how to do it wasn't percent wasn't hundred percent sure how much space to leave this point here is a narrow point and the sheep don't want to go through it what we're going to do is reposition a few of these posts we're going to move the strainer post that's over there move it to here bring it out a meter color meter from here straight line it to the corner I'm going to have to take a few of these off, but as we said before, making eggs, you have to making whatever, you have to crack eggs. <laughs> Still can't think of that saying. Uh, somebody remind me, whatever it is. You have to crack a few eggs. There it is. You probably wonder where he's going. I was, but now I'm starting to think he doesn't want to drive over this really buggy bit. This address is spring next. Oh boy, she's wet. She is wet. Feel like that. Well, I can feel that. You're not right. You're not right. I'm right. <laughs> right. We'll give it an argo. Take a take a chunk out of that, and then it'll, it'll definitely get it in. I'll do film crew. Got to hit the play for that time lapse. Right, he's dug that out. Look, guys, the water's flowing. Look, where's it flowing from after that heavy shower? We just need to wait for a dry day and see. What do you think? I will it's coming here right It's coming here. There is no water above it, so I can see it coming out of the ground. Look. I can see it boiling there, dude. Spring water, baby! <laughs> you want a drink? No, I'm alright. You see a couple good plastic. Oh, come get out, you lazy git. Yeah. Oh, happy days! 
And what are we? We're Barnaby. We're almost ahead of the fence post, so we're a good meter above the. Give us a nice wee fall down to the corner of the sheep shed with electric. Pump it up to the water watershed. Love it. Wonder when the digger get back. Oh, you're not getting bogged yet. You want the gate moved? Uh -huh, I don't want to. Here, you sit there. I'll move it for you, sir. You move the gate, or I can move it to the bucket, like. No, well, I'll move it. This is better for me. You just have to go for it. It's only the once. Hey, it'll sink into the ground. Barbecue, yeah. Well, we're still trying to work because they arrived early. Right, we're nearly out of time. We'll fix that down there. If you look, it's it's a it's a much in line as it's going to be. I think the string line has a bit of a warp in it with all the rain. In the background of the time lapse, I have walked up and pulled. There's two staples in each post holding the wire up because I originally thought there was sheep coming. Now. I have pulled them back off and he's just about to do the, the straightening effect.
Hang on. Hi. Come to me. What's that? The question down there. Let me Can't be stopped. I like it. Right, this is the point where we're going to use these boards. You see, at the start of this video, pressure's on. Will it work? Or will it not? Let's find out. Go away, I'm busy. Kids are shaking me. Okay, one minute. tighter but as long as it looks right at this stage as long as it looks right what can you go back by can you lift her up a bit back or track back a face like a slipping or something go ahead why that, that's tension on it now that'll do that's enough let me get a couple of nails in that No, the kink going into it, that's the strain. If I hold that, can you go pull can you actually drive down there do you reckon or hide on coupling now? Well, Alright, try and level it and there you go. Ah well have a go at it. And that's where the fencing video ends folks. The camera froze on me and we were that busy hustling trying to get fed up red up before we ate the barbecue that I didn't realize the camera had froze let me show you what we got done there's, there's, still, there's still plenty of water left in the tank this here was a big height Trevor has taken it off showed it in the time lapse here's the fence here guys the time lapse also showed that strainer being moved it was two posts up we swapped them out because it had to be more in line with that and it's the lowest point of the fence look it has to be a good 10 inches there we're getting close to the corner now where do you see this H brace it's actually slightly in just slightly but better than in and hanging out the way it was and this is what remains rolled up ready for the next job where did I show you this whenever we were stre stretching out tensioning the, the long section I did mention that it sounded like it was moving there was some movement this is it that was that was originally here so distance wise you're talking two feet or one two three 
it has come in three wires. That was the creaking whenever Trevor was pulling into the digger. Obviously, there was no there was no shortage of power as far as the pole went. Something had to give. I think it was that, and not the wire at the other end. That'd have been real hanging. What I didn't mention, it's been a few days from we were working on the fence. Look at this. Remember, this was a buggy hole. The weather has turned, turned for the better. This has started to dry out. I tell you one thing: you wouldn't have walked over that uh, on on what day was it? Sunday past. No chance. What I'm not happy with is the way we did this. We just botched them down that. Should have put a line on it. Gonna have to fix it at a later stage. It's actually still loose anyway. It's tight enough to do, but it's, it's just, you know the crack, you know the crack. I'll pull them out and fix it. Folks, it's been almost two years from I started this project of building my homestead from scratch. If you wanna go in and look at the playlist, you can watch it from the start. There's 81 videos in it so far, 91. 81. There's enough content to keep you going a few years or anyway. Everybody that has been helping me and watching me, it's all been positive. All positive. No negative comments. A couple of ones talk about, oh, you're cutting down the trees. But they obviously just watched a minute clip and didn't see the bigger picture where we're trying to regenerate, not deteriorate. There's a few people I want to thank and I've wrote down because I don't want to get it wrong. The first one is Wesley Hamilton Contracts. Dude, with all your machines, you're a legend. Made it made it possible. The guy that helped me the first the first year is a is a guy called Brian. He also gave me the lend of the Alvent. He didn't even charge it to, charge me for it. He lent it to me. He's also great. Jason, you're a dude. Lent me a digger. Even gave me a hand set the posts and all at the entrance. Done a bit of fencing. And John kept me right as far as sheep goes. Thank you. But there's another dude that I nearly forgot about. No, I didn't. <laughs> Definitely didn't. Trevor, you're a legend, boss. Best man for the job. Best man for the wedding, too. You guys helping me build the dream. The, the dream that's been in here for many a year. Also, the YouTubers. You guys that are sitting watching this. Thank you so much. Without you sitting and watching it, I probably would have lost a bit of motivation. A, a, a wee bit of motivation. If you are fans of the channel, and there's anything you would like to do to support me, just go into the comments and write something in it. Hit the like button, and uh, hopefully that there will uh, show the YouTube algorithm that uh, you like the channel, and. Uh, someone else might like it too. Right, so I was up here this morning. Where do you see this spring? Still running, running like a boss. Look at this here, guys. Guess who's back? Back again. Back, back. See the black guys? Two yo lambs, one ram lamb. Deadly. Two still to pop. I'm going to give them a bit of space because in the next video where we went round the electric fence, we're going to have to do a bit more to it to get it ready for the buzz. Guys, thanks for watching. See you in the field.